Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see the solutions of summative assessment paper 1 of class 9 2021-2022. Okay, so here part A and part B are. So before writing the exam, you have to write it very carefully. See here, um, part A answer should be write on a separate answer book. Write the answers to the question questions under part B on the question paper itself. So part B, bit paper you have to write the answers on the bit paper only. Okay. So see, section 1. So one more question. If P of X is equal to this, then find the value of P of 2. So in the place of X, simple ga manam 2 ni substitute che seyal. Okay. So we will get 0. Next second one, find the degree of the polynomial. Degree means highest power. So power lo echo ga yede undi ni number 6. So degree of P of X, 6. And a big number yede yede undu adi. Third one, if X greater than 0, Y less than 0, then X comma Y lies in which quadrant greater than 0 means plus less than 0 minus so plus minus q4 next fourth one represent minus 3 by 4 on the number line so minus 3 by 4 means so you have to write like this 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 by minus 4 by 4 minus 1 this is plus 1 so here minus 3 by 4 just circulate next section 2 two marks questions Solve all the problems. Each problem carries 2 marks. Find 10 rational numbers between minus 3 by 11 and 8 by 11. So minus 3 by 11 and 8 by 11 between numbers. Minus 2 by 11, minus 1 by 11. So like this. So next, sixth problem. If a plus b plus c is equals to 9 and a b plus b c plus c equals to 26, find a square b square c square so on seeing this here a b b c a c and a square b square c square you have to remember one formula that is a plus b plus c whole square formula so in this way you can solve this formula is this and you have this value just to substitute and transpose so you will get a square b square plus c square as 29 Next, seventh problem, rationalize 1 by 7 plus 4 root 3. So, what is the rationalizing factor? Here plus is there, no? So, in the rationalizing factor, minus will come. Same numbers. So, on rationalizing, you can solve like this. This is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So, a square minus b square. So, 4 root 3 whole square means... 4 square into root 3 whole square. Square root will get cancelled. 16 3 is 48. So this will be the solution. Next, 8th problem. Which of the following expressions are polynomials which are not given reasons? So 1 by x plus 1 is a polynomial or not means no, it's not a polynomial. Because the power of variable is a negative integer. So if we transpose, the power is negative integer. Next, Coming to the second one, root 3x square plus 5y is a polynomial. Yes. Power of variable is 2. That is integer, positive integer. So the power of variable is non-negative integer. That is positive integer. So it's a polynomial. And root x, then it is not a polynomial because root means x power 1 by 2 1 by 2 is not an integer no? so that's not a polynomial ninth problem which of the following points lies on the axis also name the axis so here x is 0 so it lies on y axis and here y 0 so it lies on x axis and on the negative side so negative x axis this is origin so it lies on x and y axis, both axis. And here y is 0, so it lies on x axis. Next, in section 3, 4 marks questions will be given. Okay, so here 
10 a find the values of root 5 up to three decimals here in each problems internal choice will be given okay students so here root 5 value so students if you do not understand finding the root 5 root 3 root 7 values please watch the videos which are in my channel okay so in this way you can solve root 5 by long division process to choose a 4 so again we have to double the number which is in the quotient to choose a 4 okay and now uh, take two digits 4 to the 8 now so 2 42 to the 84 so in that way you can solve next 10 b if a and b are rational number find the value of a and b in each of the following equation so here in the denominator minus is there now so rationalizing factor will be plus so after rationalizing so you will get 5 plus 2 root 6 so after comparing a is 5 and b is 2 now 11th one a if x plus y plus z is 0 show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equals to 3xyz so here x plus y plus z is 0 if we transpose plus z it will be minus z now cubing on both sides by using x plus y whole cube formula you can solve like this okay in the place of x plus y we can write minus z now 11 b show that x minus 2 x plus 3 and x minus 4 are factors of x cube minus 3x square minus 10x plus 24 so if the problem is like this just take this linear polynomials and equals to 0 find the x values okay now by substituting these x values in the problem we if you get 0 that is a factor if we did not get 0 that's not a factor so x minus 2 0 x value 2 so if we substitute in the place of x we get 0 x plus 3 is 0 x is minus 3 so here in dealing in calculating minus values you have to be careful minus whole cube minus only minus whole square plus minus whole power odd number is minus only minus whole power even number is plus so this is also 0 and p of 4 also 0 so p of 2 p of minus 3 p of 4 is 0 so these are the factors of the given polynomial okay students next 12th one find the following product using appropriate identities so here we cannot solve by uh, general multiplication here you have to use identities so this is 100 plus 2 100 minus 2 so a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square so this is the solution so here in the second problem 100 plus 3 whole cube so x plus y whole cube by using this identity you can solve like this so very simple this solution 100 whole cube so two zeros are no if you cube six zeros will come so here two zeros if you square four zeros will come okay so in that way you just you can just calculate next 12b give possible values for length and breadth of the rectangle whose area is so here area of rectangle they give so area of rectangle L into B now so we have to find out the roots okay so here A and C coefficient of x square and constant term take and the product is 10 so we have to get the middle term by adding or subtracting these given numbers these factors so 10 ones are 10 10 minus 1 9 only now so we can write like that now we get x plus y 2x minus 1 so length x plus 5 breadth 2x minus 1 so if x is 1 l is 6 and b is 1 
So like that, if x is 2, x is 3, x is 4, you can write. Now, 13th one, visualize 3.894 on the number line using the successive magnification. So in FA1 exam also, you get the same model problem now. So here, 3.894. So it lies between 3 and 4. Again, we have to split. So if you see by using a magnifying glass, you can see these between numbers. Okay. Alani manam iladrajasam. So 3.1, 3.2. Again, the required value lies between 3.8 and 3.9. So again, 3.81, 3.82. I'll divide like that. And here 3.89. And 3.9 in between. 3.894 four na so here lies. Again, if you divide 891, 892, 894, this is the required value. Okay. Next, 13th P. Plot the points in a graph sheet. Join the points with a stripe line to make a rectangle. Find the area of rectangle. Here. So, the horizontal line x-axis and the vertical line y-axis. Okay. So, the intersection is horizon. The, the right side of our horizon, positive values. Left side, negative values. Above horizon, positive. Below horizon, negative. So, scale 1 cm equals to 1 unit. Consecutive numbers we have, we wrote now. So, scale 1 unit only. Now, 0, 0 horizon. 0, 3 on the x 0 y 3 this and 4, 3 x value 4 y value 3 this and 4, 0 this will be. So join the points with the stripe lines joined to make a rectangle. So what's the area of rectangle formula? L into V. So here L 4 units 1, 2, 3, 4 only. No? So breadth 3 units. So, area 4 into 3, 12 square units. Okay. Now, part B, bit paper. So, the bit paper is for 10 marks and 20 bits will be given. Each question half mark. So, pi day is celebrated. Pi means 22 by 7. Its value 3.14. So, March 14th pi day. Pi day is celebrated on March 14th. Okay. So option A. Degree of constant polynomial 0. The value of this. So if x plus y plus z is 0. x cube plus y cube plus z cube 3 x y z. Here only we have. So 3 x y z minus 6 third. So 0 of the polynomial. If we equal to 0. This will be 3 by 2. So here option B. Now, 18th one, minus 2 comma minus 5 point, it represents. So, both the minus na, so x less than 0, y less than 0. So, it is option D. Now, 19th one, the equation of x axis, y 0. The father of coordinate geometry, Rene Descartes. So, which of the following is terminating decimal? Terminating means the, if the denominator factors are in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m prime factors, then it is terminating. So, this only now. So, it is terminating. Which of the following is an irrational root 8 is irrational. Root 4, 2, root 9, 3. But root 8, there is no value now. So, it's irrational. Every rational number is an integer. Every integer is a rational number. Okay. So, every rational number is an integer. Integers means positive numbers, negative numbers and 0. A rational numbers means the numbers which we can write in the form of P by Q. So, first one is false and second one is true. Every integer is a rational number. Which of the following is binomial? Binomial means two terms must be there. So, 3x1 term, 5 one term. This one. A less than 0. Then the point minus A comma 0 lies on. A already less than 0. Na? So, 
minus a comma 0 on positive axis. The point minus 2 comma 3 lies on which quadrant? Minus plus its second quadrant. 0 0.5 bar its 5 by 9. Which of the following is incorrect? So if it is 0 0.55 bar it is 55 by 99. Okay. So okay. Which of the following is incorrect? So root a plus root b into root a minus root b. a square minus b square means it's a minus b. Square will get cancelled. No? Root a b means root a into root b. Root a plus b into root a minus b. a into a a square root will get cancelled. a minus b into b, b square. No? So this is wrong. Option c. Match the following. So here three terms are there. So this is. Sorry, here degree is 3. So, this is cubic polynomial B3 and degree 1 linear polynomial, degree 2 quadratic polynomial. So, which of the following algebraic identity using first solve this one. So, x plus a into x plus b, this identity. 343 whole power 1 by 3. 343 means 7 cube, na? so it is 7. In the adjacent figure, the line L represent y is equals to 2. Here, a represent minus 1 by 3. A is a rational number which is correct. So, both are correct now. So, option A. So, these are the solutions of summative assessment 1, paper 1 of class 9. Students, please like this video and please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.